There is no surprise that with the success Gonzaga men's basketball continues to have, high profile recruits are looking at GU as a destination to go to school and play ball. I sat down and talked with Jake Weingarten from StockRisers.com, who is on top of recruiting visits like no other in the country. We chatted about the 2021 class, recruits visiting this week, and why recruits like Gonzaga so much. I think Gonzaga is reaching new heights, and I think it goes even further with the 2021 kids. This week, two top 50 2021 recruits will come to Spokane and visit Gonzaga. We'll start with Arthur Kaluma, who's coming for an unofficial visit. He's a forward known more for his defensive value. The big man has been sought after already by some schools from major conferences, and Gonzaga has some catching up to do on the recruiting trail. But Weingarten still thinks GU has a chance to land it. It's Mark Hugh and Gonzaga, so at the same time, that's, that's never really a problem. I don't think that, you know, He'd take that unofficial visit and that travel if there wasn't a chance at an offer. So, um, yeah, I mean, very talented guy, and uh, Gonzaga might offer, so we'll see. The other is Peyton Watson, a shooting guard who's coming for an official visit. He's a good defender whose offense continues to improve. Wine Garden says he feels Gonzaga has a better chance of landing him than Kaluma. The fact that they're getting an official visit already makes it a great chance. And I think a player like Watson would fit in perfectly in Marquis' system, especially, you know, Dominic Harris stays around after one year, which he probably will. Then you got Julian Strother, who will probably stay around. And then if Jalen Suggs comes, likely one and done, and then you can slot in Watson to go with, you know, Drew Timmy still there and Anton Watson. That could be a pretty scary team. We also talked about Paolo Bancaro, who is a junior playing at O'Day High School in Seattle and is a top five prospect in the 2021 class. Weingarten says the talented Ford hasn't really indicated whether he's swaying toward one school or the other, but Weingarten says that he believes the Zags is where he'll end up choosing. I've always said the Zags are, you know, my top team for him. Um, I mean, it just makes perfect sense. You see what Mark Few has done with guys like Banchero. I can't even say guys like Banchero because there's no one really like him. I think he's arguably the best player in the country. Um, and, I mean, he's just, he's so talented on both ends of the court. And, I mean, every single night you just see the numbers he puts up. I mean, 24, 12, and 8 on a consistent basis, that's that's a big deal. For these 2021 guys, Weingarten says we'll know better this summer on where GU stands. Once again, the Zags are targeting some top recruits. And here's some big reasons why recruits have told Weingarten that they like Gonzaga. The facilities and the area, and you know, just they love basketball there. And walking into that arena, it's sold out every night. They can, they can be playing a terrible team and win by 50 and it's sold out. And you know, you see these guys going official visits and here student section chanting their name. Everyone going nuts in there. I mean, that's something that stands out to, you know, these guys is the fact that they want to be loved and, you know, they, they want to be in an area that loves basketball. Real quick about the two recruits coming into town. Uh, Arthur Kaluma will be in town on February 27th, and Peyton Watson will be there between February 28th and March 1st, and will be in the kennel for the senior night when uh, the Zags play St. Mary.